Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with stampinwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad, and also to my Facebook page and group. I'm so glad that you've made it. Just be aware that coming in the near future, I won't be live streaming towards my Facebook group. Um, and the reason being for that is because Facebook has um, gone in and they said that they don't want third parties coming in. So I stream this through StreamYard. So consequently, that won't be coming. So I strongly suggest that you go over, like my Facebook page or um, um, hit the subscribe button down below here and you'll get notified immediately as soon as I do upload a video. Now hit that bell. That's when it gets um, uploaded. So um like I say, welcome. I'm so glad that you have joined me. Remember that this is part of a live. So if I do talk with different people, that's because of the live. And if you don't like that, just watch the replay and then you can scoot on by. So today is another sketch challenge. We're on sketch challenge number 202. Um, so um, it, somebody asked me the other day, is it starting to be uh, more challenging doing sketch challenges? Not really because of the way I do them. I don't do the sketch challenge up first I do the card then the sketch challenge but this one was kind of in between so I'm not sure so let's get going on this hello Laura and Felicia so let's let's get down here so this is the sketch challenge um regular card base whenever I do um, my sketch challenge I say that this is a regular card base that's the finished folded side and then we have one layer here, which is the four by five and a quarter. And then this piece is number three. The circle is number four. I mean, this piece is number two. The circle is number three. And then this piece here. And then the sentiment piece is usually just another piece on its own. So, um, yeah, that's our sketch challenge for today. So I'll just put that kind of up there. And I can't stop using this spotlight on nature. I was very fortunate that um, I picked this particular stamp set to do um, for my make and takes um, after hours at on stage. And as a demonstrator, you can't even um, pre-order this one. So um, I feel very, very fortunate. I think the nicest thing about this is the simplicity of this, but also these dies. These dies are amazing. Um, there's two, four, six, 12 dies. And this die is the same size as this die. So these ones can all interchange. And it's really, I guess what you want, if you wanted to, you could put all the same sort of dies together and it would work really, really well. Hello, Andrea. So like I say, we're going to use this and we're going to use some some other new product just because we can. Um, the demonstrators that have done their pre-orders, some of their stuff is starting to come in now. So um, I just wanted to show you this. Um, this will also be my add-on class for my retreat. I will be using this. Um, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, hello, Marjorie. All right. And hello, Sandra. <laughs> All right, so we are going to use this paper here. And you know what? I keep forgetting the names because I'm not very good with the names. I'm, I'm not very good with the names even after it's been on the whole time. But this is called Delightful Floral. And this is, I think, with the Unbound Beauty um, uh, Suite. Check this out. This has got the new in colors in there. And then these are the other side of them. This is a super sweet. It when I say super sweet, it has two bundles that go along with it. It has ones with words and labels. And I forgot to order that. Um, and then there's ones with flowers and different um, looking things there. So we're going to be using some of that today as well. And of course, we are using these dies and this stamp set. But I want to show you something else. Well, another thing we're going to use is we're going to use our pretty and pink blends. It's so nice to finally have some blends that basically um, that are a true pink. The flirty um, flamingo was kind of okay, but not really. So we're going to use those. We're using an old um, soft sea foam. But this is the other thing is look at this dotted circles 3D embossing folder. It is 
six inches by eight inches. It's huge. So the one thing that I noticed with it is that you can move this around. If you only want something like that, you could place your card stock that way. You could place it in the middle. I think this would look really nice on um, scrapbooking um, sort of things. So I'm not sure how um, I'm going to use it in that case. Um, our cut and emboss machine is only six. It only goes with a six inch one. So it won't go like a 12 by 12 sheet. But I think there's something that you could do with that. And you could work make it work on a 12 by 12 sheet as well. Well, obviously, you'd have to layer it. So we have that. Another thing that we're also going to use possibly is this. And I don't even have my scissors here. I can't believe that. Well, yeah, I can. I'm going to have to grab this. I'm, I've got swaps done for the Mexican trip. I've got a bunch of stuff and it's all sitting on my desk. It is creative chaos. And I do have a lady coming this afternoon, so I'll have to just tidy up a bit. But, you know, honestly, when it's an added class to what they were doing, she should be okay with it. I did tell her that there was going to be a bunch of stuff all over the place. Hi, Lila. Okay, so there's this pretty and pink ribbon. Now, this ribbon ties really, really nice. It's a half an inch ribbon, and it's double stitched. It ties really nice, but when you go to tighten it, um, what happens is it doesn't slide as well, but we'll, we'll play with that as well. So here is my card pieces for this card yes now this could almost be well this is definitely going to be a card for somebody that likes pinks because it's using that pretty in pink it's using that embossing folder so this piece is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter remember that it's a regular card base so we're just going to go in and fold that now this is a thick basic white um any of you that like the thick uh, berry vanilla that is already sold out um, but you should always use a thick white um, if you're using it for a card base that way it stands up and then we have this and like I say I could have placed that anywhere but I just placed it like that I think this one I'm not sure if, anyways I just think this one's so pretty all right, and then this is part of that designer series paper. I could use this side, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and use this side. This is going to be a very, very monochromatic card. This was the largest circle. No, the second largest circle that I cut out from this side here. And that's just going to go there. And then we're going to put this on there. So we have to come in and we've got to stamp this. And we're going to also go ahead and do some coloring on it as well. Because we're going to do some coloring, we want to use the Memento ink. Good morning, Marie. And, and good morning to a Facebook user. I'm not sure who you are. So anyways, we'll go there. And then let's just stamp this on there. I'm just going to move it in such a way that I'm going to get a good portion of that flower on there. And then we're going to color it. Now, one thing I've got to show you is that this pretty in pink, I don't know if it'll show that much on here. That was the light and the dark is like that. So it's... I think you need to have like a really gentle hand with this. And when I'm coloring this, I'm, I'm going to go on with the light color first. I'm not really going to totally saturate it because I tend to like a bit of white showing on some of, um, on some of the images because I want to come in. Does the basic page come in thick? No, Felicia. It's just basic beige. It's it's very, very similar to the black. And I don't have the basic beige. Oh, look, I went outside the lines there. I, somebody went and said, I haven't shown this enough. So I'm just going to take my color lifter and I'm coming from this side and I'm just going to push it back into 
that coloring there. That's how you do that part. Yeah, I didn't order my um, basic beige on my um, pre-order from on stage. Forgot about it. I ordered, I ordered the um, stamp pad. I ordered the stamp pad. Yes, I ordered the stamp pad and I ordered the ribbon. Um, it does, hi Caroline, it does tend to, the basic page does tend to um, be on a green color. Remember um, when you had Sahara Sand, um, it basically um, went on a green tone, the cardstock. It's more that tone when you're using the ink because I used the ink when I was at on stage. So, not sure. All right, so I'm just using soft sea foam. I just replenished my dark soft sea foam because I had used it up. So, I have a brand new one that we're just going to come in. Now, I'm not letting Stamping Up tell me exactly everything to have it colored in there. Um, Otherwise, it's just going to be too dark, and I want it to be quite a faint sort of color that I'm using there. And I'm just going to come back in with a bit more of the light. There we go. Now, another thing that's in this stamp set is we have these little splotches down here, but I thought these thatch things look kind of interesting. So... I'm just going to come in and use some smoky slate. And originally what I was going to do was stamp this off, but I don't think I need to stamp it off because my smoky slate needs to be re-inked. So I'm just actually going to put some of this just on the background just to give it a bit more texture. I'll show you what that looks like. So it's just like that. You barely see that, right? What if I just took this light off a bit there? Let's go one more. No, one more. So you can see the thatched parts on there. So now we're almost finished the card itself, right? So we're just going to come in. Hmm. Now I want to put. What do we want to put? Do we want to have this as a thank you card? Do we want to do it as a dear friend card? Hmm. I am actually going to do that in white embossing powder just because I think it's going to go. Now, one other thing, white embossing powder you cannot get at this point. They are, it is a new type of embossing folder. Um, and it is... The embossing powder is detailed embossing powder. So what that means, I think I'm going to go dear friend. That would be nice, right? Um, it does, it's it's finer and it's, it's really, really nice actually. So let's see, I'm just going to put this on here. Okay, and we'll come in with our... First mark. Yeah, there's a few things that are gone. That's for sure. But I think you'll really like the detailed white. I'm just going to come in with... Yes, it's a very pretty stamp set. Like I say, this is going to be for an add-on class for my retreat. I'm just finalizing and getting some stuff together for that. So those that are coming to the retreat. So let me just get this started. Very subtle, but it'll work nicely. So if you like pink, this pretty and pink is definitely 
a card for you. Hello, Fran. All right, so it's just going to go like that. So I'm going to come in. Let's start layering this on. And I'm hoping that you're not hearing all that noise. There's somebody with a bobcat over across the street doing some zero scaping on his lawn. So hopefully you can't hear it. It is very loud. Okay. So then that's that piece. Now this 3D embossing folder is very, very thick. So um, you want to make sure that you do use glue. I'm gonna come and just put that right on there as well. And let's see, where does that sketch say to put it? Right about there. And see now it, I could have lined it up with the circles on the embossing folder, but I decided not to. There we go. Just going to hold that down for a second. So yes, this this stamp set is very it's a minimalist type stamp set, um, but it is very very pretty. Now, what I thought I could do was just stamp these leaves on the inside or the butterfly on the inside. I will not be coloring it, whatever I put on the inside. And the reason I won't is because it's only that one thickness and I don't want the blends to go through. All right, so this is just gonna come on here. Now let's see what we wanna do with this ribbon. Do we wanna put it across there and then put it on? Yeah, we can do that. So I'm gonna do what I call a FOBO. So let's just come in with our tear and tape. We're going to put a piece down there and a piece right here. And I'm going to come in with my take your pick tool. Like so now I think there's a right and a wrong side for this. Um, one you can feel, but it's the way you like your stitches to be. If you are a sewer, you'll find that you want it to go a certain way, that's for sure. Some people might want the other two um, for the other to show, and the reason being for that, it shows up a little bit different, but there is definitely a right and a wrong way to do this. So it's that straight. And then I'm going to reinforce that with the tear and tape. Just like so. And I don't take that off. I like that to be there. This is not going to come off anytime soon, that's for sure. And then, now, don't forget to enter your, your do a card using this sketch. Enter it. Um, I realized I didn't pull any for the month of March. So I will go ahead and do that. Um, probably I'll have that done ooh, sometime this coming week. Um, it's BOGO tomorrow. So if you're interested and you live in Canada, it's a BOGO where you buy one and get one free from our retired store. Sale goes from 7 o'clock to 7 o'clock tomorrow. Um, lots of good stuff. I added over 100 new product. So that's kind of neat. And then, um, yeah. There's some stuff you probably haven't seen or haven't seen for a long time um, in there. I always say there's something for somebody in there. Now, there's nothing from the two um, retiring um, catalogs because that's against our Stampin' Up! policy. So. so I'm just, I raised this up. this right and put that right about there. I'm going to come in with my ribbon again and we're just going to tie a faux bow which means I'm just tying a knot and you want it to be good and tight and that's what's going to make it stay And then it looks kind of 
um, it is kind of blank and it definitely, definitely needs these. These are the sparkle pearls. So they come in the end colors. Oh, we want to make sure that we know where this goes as well. So I'm going to have that go right about there and I'm going to pop that up as well. Oh, there they are. You know, I just put those dimensionals down. Oh, hi, Kathy. Happy Saturday to you as well. So make sure that you do go and post this picture in my Facebook group and you can get the link to the Facebook group if you're not a member of my Facebook group. Like I say, this, all this streaming is going to be totally different. I don't know. We'll have to adjust, that's all. All right, so I'm going to come in with the Pretty in Pink gems. And I think I'll use another big one. Could even go there. Yeah, we'll put it there. But these, you can tell, I've used, this is the, um, I've used the Summer Splash and I've used the Peach Pie. So I've almost, yeah, anyways. So there's our cart. Now we have to do a stamp on the inside. So I think what I'll do, maybe I will use, no, I'm not going to use the butterfly. I'm going to use the leaves because I'm going to stamp it in um, soft sea foam so that it kind of blends with that as it goes. So I'll just bring in my soft sea foam. Oh, thanks, Lila. Hello, Peggy. Thanks. Yeah, I really do appreciate that. If you, if you like this, give me the thumbs up, share my video. I really do appreciate it. Um, by doing that, that's one of your biggest forms of a compliment that you can make. So very subtle on the inside. Um, so that's that. And that is using our spotlight on nature with the dyes. And that we're using the DSP. We're using the embossing folder. We're using the new ribbon. We used a lot of new stuff on this particular one. All right. So um, what's up? So on Monday, I'll be back doing a fancy fold card or else I'll be doing um, a 3D project. I should be showing you some of my swaps that I got. It's just I kind of put them off to one side because I'm trying to get organized with all like launches and going away again. And yeah. Anyways, all right, you guys, remember to give me the thumbs up, share my video. And if you do live in Canada, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Do not forget, if you do live in Canada, that there's BOGO sales starting at, at um, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. All right, you guys, remember to create because it's great for the soul. Um, also, Sip and Stamp will be on tonight. Um, I'll be a little late, but don't worry. It'll be opened up for everybody as well. All right, you guys, have a great day. Bye for now.